Okay, so I've been spending about eight hours trying to figure out how to fix this brightness controls aren't working. And also the um, backlight for the keyboard isn't working on the Samsung, on the Samsung laptop. Um, it's most likely going to be a similar solution for you. Um, this is if you're having problems with Windows 10 and possibly Windows 8. But basically what you need is um, the uh, Samsung settings app. So first what you do, let me see, let me find the link. Uh, Samsung. So first what you need is you have to go to this link. HTTP colon forward slash forward slash or case service samsungmobile.com software update. So just type this into a web browser. You can use any one you want. Since everyone has Internet Explorer or Edge, I'll use that just to show you. So first what you'll do is just go in there, type it in there. It'll pop up telling you to download it. Just save it wherever you want. I would save it to the desktop since that's easiest to find. So you can go to save as, go to desktop, and I actually already saved it here. It'll show up as a zipped file. So let me close this and show you. So you'll get this zip file depending what you're using, WinZip, this is 7-zip, you might just be using Windows Explorer. If you're not sure, you can right click, go to open with, and you can open with Windows Explorer. Once you open it, you'll see this file. Just drag it out here onto your desktop. I already did that, so you can see it's this file right here. So I'll replace that. Once you got that, double click that file. It'll install. Wait for it to finish. And then just say close. The software won't pop up on your desktop, so you'll have to go into the Windows key here. Scroll down into Samsung. So just go all the way down. You'll get to the Samsung folder here. Open that. You'll see Samsung update. Click that one. The software will start up. So what you want now is to type in the model of your Samsung laptop. Um, if your laptop model doesn't work, you can try this, um, the one that I'm going to use. So. This one is a NP500 P4C dash, um, let me see, what was it? Well, we'll type that first. So you do that and then you'll see that. So I remember it now, it's dash, oops, dash S07AE. So this is the model of this laptop. So what you do after you do that, you click that. Um, in the search you would press enter and it will give these options. So I would put, pick Windows 8.1 um, if you're running Windows 10. So just like that. It will give a list. Uh, uncheck all of these. The only one you need is the settings app here. So check that one and then click save. Um, I already downloaded it and it's a pretty big file so I'll show you what it looks like if I download a smaller file. So this one is like under 10 megabytes. So basically you'll save it. It'll ask you where. Just select your desktop so it's easy to find. Click select folder. Let it run. It'll show here settings instead of airplane mode control driver. It'll run. Wait for the download to finish. Once the download finishes, it'll pop up a message. So you just got to wait for it. You'll see a folder appear on your desktop, but it's still not finished. So for the um, the system settings one, it'll show up as this system software. Still going. There you go. Oops, where'd it go? So it'll finish that. It'll basically say setup file saved. It'll show the almost 200 megabytes for the settings one, and it'll show you where you saved it. After that, you can close this software. So just close that, close that, you can close all of these out, you don't need any of that. Go to your desktop, locate the system software folder, I don't need this one. So go to the system software folder, um, you'll see this system software, just double click it, 
it'll pop up the Samsung update. Then it will show you like what do you want to install. Just check the settings and click install. So let this run. Okay. It's one second, but it's lying. <laughs> All right, you'll see the setting app is now showing up here. Now it'll ask you to restart the computer. Just select yes. Make sure you save whatever you have open if you had anything open. Click yes. Wait for the computer to restart. All right. Let's see. I don't know if you want to see my customer's name, but. <laughs> Should I blur that out? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so now you got that settings. You don't actually have to do anything. You can just hold the function key here. And then if you press this, now you can see it's actually adjusting the brightness. Okay. And then you got the backlights already working on the keyboard. You can see under the keys. But if you press it now, you can actually turn the backlight off and turn it back on. Okay, so turn it off. Turn it back on. It's working now. And after you restart, it'll actually pop this up. You just click OK. It's already done. And that's pretty much it. You can close all of this. So if that helped you, um, please subscribe. It took me about eight hours or so to figure out this solution. I tried so many different other software, so many different methods, and this turned out to be the best one. Um, and if you're still having problems, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. All right, thanks. Bye.